Praise the Lord. Good morning. Welcome to Victory in the Valley. This is Pastor Kevin Ortiz, and I'm so excited about what you're getting ready to experience. The Word of God is so powerful, and there's a message that you're going to hear on season and time. All of us, we go through different seasons and times in our life, and it's important that we recognize where we're at and where God has taken us to. Don't give up on the future just because you're, you're experiencing something difficult today. God has a great plan for your life. He has a great purpose for your life. It's just a season, but that season is going to change. Amen. You're just going through that moment. It's just a moment in time, but that time is going to pass away. and You're going to get to go on to your future. Amen. I want to encourage you to hear this word, take notes, and listen. This program is there to be a blessing. As you hear the word of God, your faith is going to rise up and you're going to become a different person. Amen. We love you. We bless you. And we thank you for watching today's program of Victory in the Valley. Don't change that channel because it's going to get gooder and gooder. God bless. Amen. I, I have a word for you. I want to talk a moment about season and time. And it's important that we know the season and time. That we as a people, as a world, is in. But also we must understand the season and time that we individually are in. Y también tenemos que entender cuando nosotros estamos en esa estación y en ese momento que el Señor nos tiene para nosotros. As a pastor, como pastor, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the season and time that as a church we are in. Yo estoy mirando esa estación, ese tiempo que tiene en nuestra iglesia. And I feel like we're right at the edge of a, a great revival. Y siento como que estamos al fin, uh, al punto ese donde vamos a caer sobre uh, ese avivamiento. A, a revival that this world has not seen before. Un avivamiento que el mundo jamás ha visto that is so full of the glory of God. Que está tan lleno de la gloria de Dios. And I feel like we're right at that edge. Y estamos ahí en la orillita. We're not there yet. Todavía no llegamos. But we're right at that edge. Pero estamos en la orillita. And all we need is a little push. Y solamente necesitamos ese, que alguien nos empuje. And we're going over, amen? Y nos caemos más allá. I, I just see it in my spirit. Ya lo he visto yo en mi espíritu. I'm so excited about where we are. Estoy muy contento donde estamos ahorita. And what God is doing in our life. Y lo que el Señor está haciendo en nuestras vidas. So we're right there. So estamos ahí. But as a world, Pero como el mundo, I see us miro where we are at that time que estamos en ese tiempo, where we will all see Jesus. Que todos vamos a ver a Jesús. That we'll all be caught up in the air. Todos vamos a verlo y vamos a estar en el aire. The Bible says La Biblia dice, that after Jesus that, that Jesus que Jesús, ascended to heaven cuando él subió al cielo, and was caught up in the clouds. Y él se, estaba ahí atrapado en las nubes. And the same way that he went up y el mismo, como él subió, is the way that he's coming again. En ese mismo modo va a bajar de nuevo. In, in, in a twinkling of eye. Rápido. Real quick. Rápido va a bajar. He's coming back for his church. Va a venir para atrás para la iglesia. He's coming back for those that are living for him. Va a venir para atrás para ellos que están viviendo para él. Those that have surrendered their life. Que han dado su vida. And allowed the Holy Spirit to live in them. Y han dejado que el Espíritu Santo viva, viva en él. And have had the, their, the blood of Jesus Christ wash all their sins away. Y han dejado que la sangre de Jesús limpie todo pecado. And that could happen any time. Y eso puede pasar en cualquier momento. Uh, almost every day. Casi todos los días. When I wake up. Cuando yo me levanto. I consider it a miracle. Yo considero un milagro. That I'm not with Jesus already. Que no estoy ya con Jesús. Because according to the word of God. Porque así como dice la Biblia. Almost everything that has been prophesied. Casi todo lo que ha sido uh, algo profecicado. Before the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Antes que venga Jesús. Has already happened. Ya pasó. Or it's happening right o now. está pasando ahorita. If you don't believe it. Si no me crees, just turn on the TV. Prende la televisión. And you'll see it. Y ahí lo vas a ver. But thank God. Pero gracias a Dios. That we have a promise. Que tenemos una promesa. Of salvation through de Jesus Christ. Salvación con Jesús. So I want to read some scriptures with you. So quiero leer unas escrituras contigo. In First Thessalonians chapter five. Primera Tesalonicenses capítulo cinco. The things of God must be real to you. Las cosas del Señor tienen que ser real para ti. His ways for your life and his purpose for your life. El propósito para tu vida que él tiene. That must be real to you. Tiene que ser real para ti. Amen. Amen. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Primera de Tesalonicenses 5. I'm going to read from verse 1 through 11. Del 1 al 11. And uh, we're just going to read in English. Solamente vamos a leer en inglés. So just follow along with the word, with the Bible. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you, 
For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For, one, for when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they, they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness so that this day should not overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. Now before I read any more, Antes de que lea más, that has to be our comfort. Eso tiene que ser nuestra confortabilidad. We are going through a season, Estamos pasando por una estación, but the season will change. Pero la estación va a cambiar. No matter how bad it might be in this world, no importa qué tan malo sea aquí en este mundo, it's just a moment. Solamente es un momento. But there's an eternity pero hay una eternidad of being in the glory of God. de estar en la gloria de Dios. We have a hope of salvation. Tenemos una esperanza de salvación. For some, we will go, they will go through deep Tribulations. Para unos van a tener que pasar por una tribulación grande. We, we saw just this past week Miramos esta semana pasada, many Christians getting their heads cut off because they were Christians. Porque eran cristianos. But that was just a moment Pero solamente fue un momento. because you could take the body porque puedes llevar del cuerpo But you can't take our spirit. pero no te vas a llevar el espíritu you could attack us in the physical, puedes atacarnos en el físico but we win in the spirit. pero ganamos en el espíritu you can have a moment, puedes tener un momento but we will win in eternity. pero nosotros vamos a ganar la eternidad It was just a moment. solamente fue un momento when I, when I saw the pictures, cuando miré las fotos and I read the stories, y leí las, las historias I saw glory. miré gloria I said, praise the Lord. Yo dije, Gloria a Dios. They did not love their life even to the death. No, ellos no quisieron su vida ni al momento de morir. And they died y murieron in Christ Jesus. En Cristo. Oh, what a wonderful way to die. Qué es tan hermoso morir así. If we're going to die, si vamos a morir, let's die in Christ Jesus. Vamos a morir en, en Jesús, let's en die that, the, that, that Christ is so great in us. Hay que morir, pero que Jesús es tan grande en nosotros that the world can't stand our very presence. que ni el mundo puede aguantar que estamos ahí en nuestra presencia. And so they do they can do. So tienen que hacer lo que tienen que hacer. They can attack the body, pueden atacar el cuerpo, but they can't talk, they, they cannot attack the Christ in us. pero no pueden atacar el Cristo adentro de nosotros. Hallelujah. 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 What a glory. Qué gloria. To be mar martyred for Christ Jesus. De, de morir por él. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so happy. Praise God, I'm Estoy telling muy you. A Dios. I, 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 I mean, this is so glorious. Esto es tan It's so righteous. Es tan so awesome to be able to die for Jesus Christ. Es algo tan bueno morir para, por él, por Jesús. I want to tell you, I'm dead already. Te quiero decir que yo ya estoy I muerto. died to who I was a long time ago. Yo morí a la persona que era hace mucho tiempo. And the, the life that I live is for Jesus. Y la vida, la vida que yo vivo es para Jesús. Amen. Amen. And so when, when it's our time to leave this planet, So, cuando es tiempo que nosotros dejamos a esta planeta, it's not a sad thing. no es algo triste. It's a glorious thing. Es algo glorioso. We're entering into the glory of the Lord. Estamos entrando a la gloria de Dios. No more pain. Ya no haber dolor. No more tears. Ya no haber llanto. No more suffering. Ya no haber sufrimiento. We, we get to enter into the rest of the Lord. Comenzamos a entrar a la, ahí con el Señor. But while we are here, Pero que estamos aquí, we are here not for ourselves. No estamos aquí para nosotros. We are here for those who do not know Jesus. Estamos aquí para los que no conocen a Jesús. We are laboring. Estamos trabajando. We are working. Estamos trabajando. To enter into the rest of the Lord. 
para entrar con lo demás del Señor. But it's not about us. Pero no se trata de nosotros. It's about others. Se trata de otros. They need to know Jesus. Ellos tienen que conocer a Jesús. And the only way they can know. Y la única manera que van a saber. Is through people like you and me. Es como gente como tú y yo. They have laid down their life. Que van a dar su vida. For the glory of the Lord. Para la gloria de Dios. So whether we live. So aunque vivamos. Or we die. O muéranos. For the glory of the Lord. Todo para la gloria de Dios. Whether we go through times. Aunque pasemos por tiempos. Of 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 peace. De paz. Or times of difficulties. O tiempos de dificultad. It's for the glory of the Lord. Es para la gloria de Dios. Everything's for the glory of the Lord. Todo es para la gloria de Dios. I'm not trying to save my life. Yo no quiero salvar mi vida. I'm already saved. Yo ya soy salvo. Amen. Amen. You shouldn't be trying to save your life. Tú no debes de estar tratando de salvar tu vida. Because you can't. Porque no puedes. Only Jesus can save Solo your life. Solo Jesús puede salvar And tu so vida. And so accept the salvation of Christ Jesus. So acepta la salvación de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we comfort one another. So nosotros nos, nos cuidamos uno al otro. We comfort ourselves. Nos cuidamos uno al otro y uno mismo. No matter what we're going through. No importa qué es lo que estemos pasando. Remember Jesus Christ is coming again. Recuerda que Jesucristo viene otra vez. Our Lord and Savior is coming again. Nuestro Salvador viene otra vez. In, like a thief in the night. Como alguien que viene a robar. Like we might not even make it beyond the service. A lo mejor no vamos a estar hasta el final de ese servicio. He might, he might come right now. A lo mejor viene ahorita mismo. We'll be caught up in heaven. Y ahorita nos subimos para el cielo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you're not saved, you better get saved quickly. Y si no eres salvo, sálvate rápido. Amen. You don't want to stay here in this world. No te quieres quedar aquí en este mundo. Amen. I want to be caught up with Jesus. Yo quiero estar allá con él. Amen. Amen. And so what we must discern the time and the season that we are in. Tenemos que ver la diferencia del momento que estamos ahorita viviendo. This is not a time that we live for ourselves. This is a time that we live for the Lord with all our heart and all our strength. Ahorita no es tiempo de vivir para uno mismo. No es tiempo de vivir para él con toda nuestra fuerza y todo nuestro amor. It's not a time to be hard-headed and try to say, oh, I don't want to live for God. You should be saying, I need to live for God. Ahorita no es tiempo de decir, no, yo no quiero vivir para él. No, tú di, yo quiero vivir para Jesús. Amen. Amen. You should be crying out to God. Debes estar llorando para él. And if you don't, if you don't believe, y si no crees, you should be crying out to God, God help my unbelief. Clama a él y dile, yo creo creer. Show me your glory, Lord. Enséñame tu gloria, Señor. And God will hear your prayer. Y él te va a oír tu oración. And he will show you his glory. Y te va a enseñar tu su gloria. And your life will be saved, amen. Y tu cambio y tu vida va a ser salva. Go to Luke chapter 12. Lucas 12. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 12. And I'm going to be reading from verse 35 through 40. Lucas 12, del 35 al 40. So let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, whom the master when he comes, will find watching. As surely I say to you, That he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son, Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. So like a thief, so como un ladrón, Jesus is coming. Jesús va a venir. And he's going to steal you from this world. Y te va a robar de este mundo. You have to be ready to go. Tienes que estar preparado para irte. You have to be ready to go. Tienes que estar preparado para irte. Nothing in this world should be more important to you. No hay ninguna cosa en este mundo que sea más importante para ti. Than your desire to be with Jesus. Que tu deseo de estar con Jesús. The word of God says, like, like, like a bride. La palabra dice que como una novia. Ready to be with the groom. Preparada para estar con el novio. Ready for the wedding. Preparada para esa boda. You have to be ready. Tú tienes que estar preparado. Your lamp has to be full. Tu lámpara tiene que estar llena. You can't be on empty. No puedes estar ahí que, you, no, que no tiene nada you vacía. Cannot be playing games with God. No puedes jugar juegos con Dios. You can't be hot or cold. You got to be hot for Jesus. No puedes estar caliente y frío. No tienes que estar caliente para Jesús. Because that moment. Porque ese momento. Like a thief in the night. Como la noche. He will come just like that. Va a venir rápido. And that's not the time you get saved. 
y ese no es el momento cuando tú vas a recibir tu salvación that's the time you missed your salvation ese es el momento que tú te falló la salvación ahorita es el tiempo de salvación If you're waiting for, for everything in this world, si estás esperando para todo en este mundo, for some sort of a day in the future, si estás esperando un día en el futuro, to get saved, para que tú seas salvo, you missed your, your opportunity. Ya se te pasó la oportunidad. Because salvation is today. Porque salvación es ahorita. Today is the day of salvation. Ahorita, hoy es el día de salvación. And so when Jesus comes, so cuando Jesús venga, We can't, there's no time to pack our bags. No hay tiempo para echar tus, tus cosas, tus maletas. There's no time to prepare ourselves. No hay tiempo de prepararte tú uno mismo. We must prepare ourselves now. Tienes que prepararte ahorita. Because like a thief. Porque como un ladrón. He's coming. Él viene. The Bible says like a twinkle in eye. En la, la palabra dice como un abrir y cerrar de ojos. He will come for his glorious church. Viene por su iglesia gloriosa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there's a lot of things that are going to happen in this world. Y hay muchas cosas que van a pasar en este mundo. That is bringing man to salvation. Que va a traer al hombre a la salvación. Understand this, the world is not going to be like this forever. Entiende esto, el mundo no va a ser así por siempre. God is going to establish his kingdom here on this earth, in this world. Dios va a establecer su reino aquí en esa en esa tierra. And there will be no more death. Y ya no habrá muerte. There will be no more pain. Y ya no habrá dolor. No more tears or suffering. Ni llanto ni dolor. And so right now what this world is going through So, ahorita lo que está pasando este mundo. What is happening right now? ¿Qué está pasando ahorita? This, these are birth pains. Esos son dolores de, de, de parto. That's what we're experiencing right now as a world. Es lo que estamos experimentando ahorita en este en ese momento como un mundo. These are birth pains. Son dolores de parto. So the baby's coming. So ahí viene el bebé. The kingdom of God is coming. El reino de Dios ya viene. To wipe away all the things of, of the past. Para borrar todo lo pasado. And to make all things brand new. Y hacer todas cosas hechas nuevas. Jesus, Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, el Rey de Reyes y Señor de Señores, is coming to establish His kingdom in this world. Viene para establecer su reino en este mundo. And He's going to take that devil. Y va a agarrar ese diablo. And to the pit of, of hell he goes. Y lo va a echar al infierno donde to, debe de ir. To the pit of fire. A ese infierno lleno de lumbre. Hell was not made for man. El infierno no era hecho para hombre. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. El infierno fue hecho para el diablo y para sus ángeles. But only men pero solamente hombres who choose not to to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Esos hombres que escogen no aceptar al Señor como su Salvador. There is only one solution for them. No más hay una solución. To hell with the devil. Al infierno con el diablo. And it's not God's intention that any man should die. Y eso no es la intención de Dios que cualquier hombre muera. But we get to choose now. Pero nosotros tenemos que escoger ahorita. While we are in this body. Ahorita que estamos en este cuerpo. Where we're going to live eternity. Donde vas a vivir la eternidad. Are we going to live for the Lord? Vas a vivir para Dios. Or are we going to walk with the, the with the devil? O vas a caminar con el diablo. And so the Bible says so la dice, that we have to work out our own salvation que solo, solo uno, uno solo. with fear and trembling. Con, con temor y, y mucha we have to run to Jesus que con Jesús. and say, Jesus, y decir, Jesús, forgive me, Perdóname. cleanse me, Limpiame. I surrender. Yo me doy a ti, Señor. And his cleansing blood y esa sangre que limpia we'll wash all your sins away. borrará todo pecado tuyo. The very spirit of the Holy, the very spirit of God, ese espíritu de Dios, will come and live on the inside. Va a vivir adentro de ti. And will begin to teach you the ways of the Lord. Y te va a comenzar a enseñarte los, las cosas de Dios. But while we have today, pero ahorita, today's the day of salvation. Ahorita es el día de salvación. Amen. Amen. And so when I see the things happening in this world, so cuando miro las cosas que están pasando en este mundo, I'm not discouraged, I'm encouraged. Yo no me pongo triste, yo me, yo estoy bien. We live in the greatest times. Estamos viviendo en un tiempo grande y bueno. All the disciples wish they lived where we live right now. Todos los discípulos quisieran vivir donde estamos ahorita. Because we're going to get to see Jesus coming back for his church. Porque vamos a poder ver a Jesús que viene para atrás por we're, su iglesia. We're going to take a, we're going to get to fly. Vamos a poder Hallelujah. volar. Hallelujah. We're going to be caught up in the heavens. Vamos Hallelujah. A estar atrapados en el cielo and the Bible says that we're going to a great feast a banquet y la Biblia dice que vamos a ir a un banquete we get to eat heavenly food vamos a comer comida celestial and we're not going to get fat praise the Lord y no nos vamos a poner gordos 
Hallelujah. And so I, I want to just give you a couple of things tonight. Be faithful to God. Te van unas cosas ser fiel con Dios. Be faithful to God. Fiel con Dios. Be, be a faithful bride. Sé un, un, una novia fiel. You've been chosen by Christ Jesus. Tú has sido escogido por Cristo Jesús. If Jesus is your Lord and Savior, si, si Cristo es su, tu Salvador, be faithful to your husband. Then. Sé fiel con tu esposo. Be faithful to Jesus. Sé fiel con Jesús. I live for God. Yo vivo para Dios. I am, I am united in Christ Jesus. Yo estoy un, hay una unidad con I'm not going to be unfaithful. I'm going to be faithful to God. Yo voy a ser fiel con Dios. I'm not going to live for the devil. I'm going to live for the Lord. No voy a vivir para el diablo. Voy a vivir para Amen. el Señor. You've been bought with a price. Ha sido comprado con un precio. Understand this. Entiende esto. You did not choose God. Tú no escogiste a Dios. God chose you. Amen. Dios te escogió a ti. He, he looked at you. Él te miró. When everyone else says, I ain't marrying that thing. Cuando, cuando todos dijeron, yo no me caso con esa cosa. <laughs> he knew all your problems. Él conocía todos sus he knew problemas. all your, your mistakes. Él conoce todos tus errores. He still loves you. Y como quiera, te quiere. And you've been bought with a price. Y has sido comprado con un precio. He chose you. Él te escogió. Not because of what you are today. No por lo que eres ahorita. But what he's going to make you into. Amen. Pero porque lo que tú te, él te va a convertir a ti. Va a mandar su Espíritu Santo. Y realizará la sangre de Jesús. Y te va a lavar. Y te va a hacer una novia gloriosa. La gloria del Señor va a ser tu vestido. Caminarás a ese cuarto y la gloria de Dios saldrá de ti. Understand this, there is no mirror. Entiende esto, no hay ningún espejo that can reflect the glory that God's going to put on your life. Que reflectará la gloria que el Señor va a poner he sobre tu so vida. Beautiful. Porque vas a estar tan hermoso. He's going to cover you with his glory. Te cubrirá con la gloria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we see that even today. Y lo miramos ahorita. When we're around great men and women of God. Cuando estamos eh, alrededor de esos hombres grandes de Dios y mujeres de Dios. We see the glory of God upon their life. Miramos la gloria de Dios sobre su vida. So beautiful. Es tan hermoso. And if we could just see a glimpse of it. Si podemos más ver un poquito de eso. Just imagine what, the, what we're going to look like in heaven. Imagínate cómo vamos a estar en el cielo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so he calls you. So él te llama. He, he brings you to himself. Y te trae hacia él. And then he puts a fire inside of you. Y luego pone una lumbre dentro de ti. A un passion. fuego, una pasión. Everybody say passion. Di pasión. He puts a passion inside of you. Pone una pasión adentro de ti. To tí. live for heaven. Para que tú vivas al cielo. You, I'm so caught up with heaven Yo estoy tan en el cielo that the things of this world don't pull me down anymore. Que las cosas de este mundo ya no me In good times, en las cosas buenas, I'm happy. Estoy in bad times, las cosas malas, I'm happy. Estoy you could bless me as much as you want in this world, me todo lo que en este mundo, but it will add nothing of value to my life. Pero no va a darme más valor para esta my vida. treasures are in heaven. Porque mis tesoros están en el cielo. And nothing in this world can compare to the glory that's waiting for me in heaven. Y nada en este mundo puede comparar de lo que me espera a mí en el cielo. Amen. Amen. And so we must have this fire for God. So tenemos que tener un fuego adentro de nosotros por Dios. This passion to live for the Lord. Una una pasión para vivir para el Señor. Not just on Sunday. No nomás el domingo. Not just when pastor preaches a good message. No nomás cuando el pastor predica un mensaje bueno. But all the time. Pero siempre. You should recognize God's presence. Reconoce la presencia de Dios. Every day. Todos los días, you should welcome the touch of the Holy Spirit. Deja que el Espíritu Santo te toque. And you should allow your, your life to be led by the Spirit of God. Y deja que tu vida sea guiada por el Espíritu Santo. Look at your neighbor and say fire. Mira a tu vecino y di fuego. 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 Our God is an all-consuming fire. Nuestro Dios es un Dios lleno de fuego. And he's going to burn everything out of you that doesn't that, that should not belong there. Y quemará todo lo que no debe estar dentro de ti, lo quemará. Why? ¿Por qué? He's preparing you. Te está preparando. For the banquet. Para el banquete. He's preparing you ¿Te prepara? for the day of, our, of the Lord's coming. Para el día que va a venir el Señor. That's why some of you wonder, why do I have to go through some difficult times? Por eso algunas veces nos preguntamos, ¿por qué tengo que pasar por tiempos It's difíciles? Preparation. Es tiempo de preparación. Because during that season, Porque durante esa estación, you have to press into God. Tienes que tú 
nomás tocar al Because Señor. No hope of survival without God's blessing upon Porque no hay cómo sobrevivir sin el Señor. We are touched and changed by the fire. Somos tocados, tocados y cambiados por el fuego. The fire will burn. El fuego quema. It will burn. Quema. And we might not want y no vamos a querer to go through that time. Pasar por ese tiempo. We might not want no vamos a querer to go through that, that, to make that decision hacer esa decisión to walk away from, an, from something that God says you need to leave it de mover de, de decir no a ese momento que el Señor dice vete but the fire will keep on burning pero el fuego quemará and the fire will say you have to go y el fuego te dirá you have to go. tú tienes que ir you have to let it go tienes que dejarlo you ir you have to trust me confía en mí and your faith will grow up to another level y tu fe llegará a otro, otro nivel and then what happens y lo que pasa after you go through the fire después de que pasas por el fuego the only thing that remains lo que queda is the pure gold. God bless you, my friends. This is Pastor Kevin Ortiz, and I want to thank you for watching Victory in the Valley. We had an incredible time with the Lord. The Lord called us and he told us to anoint these bottles of oil and to release them upon the houses and upon the families so that they could pray and anoint their house and claim the presence of the Lord inside their homes. And I want to tell you, my friends, we are experiencing so much of his glory, so much of his power. Even in the very service, before we even we released these bottles of oil, the presence of the Lord was so strong that people were set free. Devils were being manifested and being cast out all over the church. And I want to tell you, the enemy does not want to leave your home. And we want to encourage you and we want to help you as you live for the Lord. If you would like one of these bottles of oil, these are free for you. But you must come by the church. You could come by the church during the week, Monday through Friday. We will be here. Come by the church and pray with one of our, our pastors. And they will bless you with one of these bottles of oil so that you could go home and put it upon your doorpost, put it upon your house, and tell the devil that he needs to get out and begin to, res begin to claim that the presence of the Lord is inside your house. So please come on by. Faith pleases God Church. We have a bottle of oil for you. It's free. We'll pray with you. We'll come in agreement that God will give you victory for you and your house and your home. If you want one of these bottles, come by Faith Pleases God Church here in Harlingen, Texas. And there's a pastor here that wants to pray with you. God bless you. Thank you for watching Victory in the Valley. God bless. God spoke to us and told us that we are supposed to raise up a thousand disciples. The word of God says that we are supposed to go out to and make disciples of all nations. Have you been discipled? Have you been taught the ways of the Lord? Have you been led by the Holy Ghost as you have been instructed by someone who's been taught of how to live for God? We have people that want to walk with you. We have people that are great men and women of God that want to pray over your life and that they want to take on the responsibility of seeing you grow in Jesus, in Jesus Christ. Today is the day to sign up. Today is the day to become part of this discipleship program. Become part of this army that we're raising up to serve the Lord. This is a daily discipleship program that you will walk with our spiritual trainers and you will experience the goodness of God. Come by faith, pleases God church. And we will, we will match you up with somebody who will, will encourage you, who will walk with you, who will pray over your life and believe God for the goodness of God for you, for you and your family. You need to become a disciple. Come by faith, pleases God church, or call 956-412-5600 and say, I want to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. Thank you guys for watching today's program and thank you for signing up to become a disciple today. It's a free ministry just for you. God bless you and we'll see you in a, in a short while here at church worshiping the Lord with us. God bless you. We love you. God bless.